In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a hosting service called 3iHost. 3iHost brag about a 99.99% uptime and a 24 7 hour support system. I'm going to take you through the whole of the back end, go through a lot of the features, kind of give my thoughts on it, show you the demo, and I'll provide you with the best discounts on the market for 3iHost in the description below. Here we are in the dashboard and the dashboard acts as a snapshot for all your other areas. Instantly you can see you can register brand new domains or you can transfer them in. You would simply enter your domain name, and then put in the authorization code and press order now and then the platform will do everything else. It will tell you how many services you hold, domains, invoices and the support tickets you've raised and then it gives a more detailed list right here. You can add as many contacts as you need onto the account so they can also gain access and you have shortcuts for you to order new services and register a new domain. Heading into the service tab, look at your services, you can click my services or click the a shortcut here. On the left they have web hosting, shared SSD, cloud hosting, WordPress hosting, master reseller hosting, great for agencies, then you have WHM reseller hosting and they accommodate almost everything that you need. On the left if you click one of the categories it'll give you plans according to that package. They give you premium SSD cloud hosting for £1.94 a month and this is all of the features you'll get along with that plan. To get started, all you do is click the order now button and you can either register a new domain, transfer your domain from another registrar or use an existing domain and update from your name service. Just put in a domain name. If it's not available, you won't be able to buy it. But if, if you keep on searching for a domain, as you can see, this is how it's done. Once you purchase your domain name or your hosting, then you're going to be directed to your products and services page. After around about 90 seconds, this will all be active and set up for you, but it can vary depending on the name and other factors. So to get started, all you do is go ahead and click on your service, and then this will take you to the admin area of that specific service. You've got shortcuts from creating email accounts to even adding add-on domain names. Then if you scroll down further, it will give you all the billing details and you can even quickly create email accounts accounts directly from your dashboard. A little bit down you will also be able to see the add-ons and extras which are basically helping you with speed or security. These are just one click, so one click and then do purchase and activate. On the left under actions these are quick links to your cPanel, webmail if you need to change your password to your admin area or if you want to upgrade or downgrade your servers. I'm going to go into the cPanel and this is where you can control everything about your website, disk storage, backups, you name it it's here and you'll be able to customize it. They also offer you a complimentary SSL certificate and all you need to do is just press save. If you need to access, let's say your file manager, go ahead and click file manager and you've got all of your files in there. And if you're not that tech savvy and you're only in this area so you can install your WordPress site, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll be able to see all of your scripts. Go ahead and click the WordPress installation, for example, and click install now. And then right here, you will say which domain name you would like it on, what version, all the site settings, followed by the admin information. You can even ask it to install classic editor and extra security features. And you can change the database information and then you can see a theme. When you're happy with that, go ahead and click the install button. And now if we head back to our file manager, you can see all the WordPress files have been installed and now it's ready for you to jump into the back end and actually start amending stuff. Logging in. And now we have a fully functional website ready to start editing and doing as we need. One of their claims is that they are 20x times faster than most hosting platforms. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this website as it is through Google's Pingdom and Google Speed Tesco. Now, just so you know, we always take these speed tests with, with a pinch of salt, and there's tons and tons of variables involved to determine the speed of your site. For example, if you are connecting to a local server, it will be faster usually than connecting to an to a server in a different country. So again, don't take the, these results too seriously, but we are on a completely default recommended theme. We've done no editing, so this score should be relatively high. So we're gonna enter the domain name, change my server to London, because that's my local, and do start test. Okay, so that's actually really good results. We have a performance grade of 
an A, which is at 96 out of 100. The load time is less than 500 milliseconds, which again is still good. You know, page size is again less than a megabyte, so it's to be expected. But that's the point, it's to be expected, and they've lived up to that. Then you can also see we've not really got any problems here. You can see that there's no long waiting period request from the server. Next, let's go ahead and enter the domain name on Google Speed Sites Analyzer. And just a side note, Google is actually very strict with everything. Uh, so I take this with even less of a pinch of salt as normal domains. And for mobile, that's 99, which is really good. No real issues here. Go over to desktop and it's got a 100% score on a desktop, which is actually really good. Moving on to webmail side of things, they'll create one generic inbox which is ultimately something that you don't tend to log into but all the emails and everything you need are always going to be in this one single one and that's across the border from every email you have under this domain and then we have a custom made domain which is this one here and I'm going to go ahead and do check email. You can decide what sort of theme you want to display and we have our inbox here. Nice and simple, no problems. This is a breakdown of all the features. So, so for example, if we want to access our cPanel, we'll click on that and it gives you instructions on how to do that. I'd admit they're not the best instructions. They definitely need some video or some, a little bit more detailed descriptions, but all in all, you know, it's, it's one click and it's pretty simple to use in my opinion. If you ever need support, they do have a 24 seven access uh, live chat window right here. So you'll just either search for answers or start a new conversation, put your information in, and now you can start talking to them live right here. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions whatsoever about 3i Hosts, go ahead and drop them below. And with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.